Hello, friends. Here we are at the new compound. We have a beautiful pool. Absolutely beautiful. And the house. Well, the house is damned big. Damn big. So, let's go check out the uh, rec room. Yes, this is a very deep pool. Looks to be about 12 feet or so. Got a nasty little bee infestation on this uh, your palm tree, but yeah, we got a you know a barbecue and another barbecue and you know, a little supply closet. And then we have the rec room, the rec house, the rec building, I guess you could call it. So. In here, we have a uh, nice stainless sink. We have a range, pretty decent one. We have a rec room fridge, and freezer is empty. beer but yeah definitely have a very nice place here I'm gonna put you down for just a second to open up this beer <coughs> come out of here that is so So we have a pool table, we have a uh, single bathroom, hello there, Cammy here, how you doing? Yeah I know I look uh, kind of fucked up right now but uh, we're in the middle of moving in so uh, yeah. So, there is a shower in here, it is quite nice, it only has a single seat, but uh, at least it has seat. Now this is the real interesting thing, it actually has a shampoo, conditioner, and a question mark um, uh, dispenser. So this will definitely be useful, and this couch converts into a bed thing. And then we have room number one, which has a uh, relatively nice view, but uh, it's you know pretty simplistic in here. There is this um, strange piece of glass in the room, and a closet, and a desk, and a uh, blow-up bed. <gasps> but uh, seems to be quite quite a few power outlets in here. <clears throat> And on to the actual media center. So we've got a 720p projector here. It has a VGA input and a component input, but not HDMI, which is kind of a shame, but oh well. And here is the actual wall that it is projected upon. Um, it's pretty sizable uh, because the projector is mounted far enough back so that it actually makes a uh, good impression. Um, we're not sure if this TV is going to be ours or if it is going to be moved out of here. So let us go into yeah, room number two, which is a nice little guest bedroom in here. And there is a bed and some shelves and you know this would probably handle most people and uh, it has a sort of a closet really more of a you know, hole in the wall but 
you know, it's uh, it's here, and uh, you know, we've got some pool pool stuff in here, and uh, yeah. So that's uh, the wreck the wreck house. door. Now it does seem fairly humid in here, so chances are we're going to have to get the uh, air conditioner that's uh, sitting over here to work. But uh, that's this guy. So that's our rec house. You know, we've got a pool table, we've got a ping pong table, we've got a air hockey table. Um, we've got a theater, which kicks ass. So now let us exit back to the outside. Hey guys. And here we shall wander into the house, which has a whole house surround system. Oh, well, it's not surround, but yeah, rock. Shoes off in the house. No shoes allowed. For obvious reasons. So I put my shoes off, and here is our uh, rather small dining area. We have a little mini bar, and there is the auxiliary input for the uh, whole house radio. And here is the whole house radio, which also has an intercom. Um, and you will be seeing some more of the intercom points. But here is our uh, living room. And uh, it does have a fireplace. The fireplace is not operational at the moment. I do believe they need to turn on the gas, but um, it should be operational by winter. And then we have a, uh, a small office. There is one of the consoles for hell yeah. We have an intercom. There is uh, what appears to be Comcast cables in here for cable television. A small filing cabinet and some very nice built-in wall shelving. We can see into the living room slash, you know, here's the living room, there's where we just walked into the office, and here's another one. So, let's wander through the kitchen and, uh, and go back and forth, right? I forget what's in here. Oh, that's a locked closet. That is where the owner of the house is keeping some of his stuff. This, I do believe, is open. Yes, it is. And this is our laundry room. We have a nice laundry sink here and you know, some very nice cabinetry. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, practically brand new uh, washer and dryer with uh, all kinds of controls and uh, buttons and, and widgets and things to poke. And you know, we've got a nook there and <clears throat> big fridge big fridge and we've got two ovens and a microwave and then uh, this goes obviously upstairs um, I think this goes out to the front place yeah this goes out to the front and here we have our actual living room, living room. Let me see if we can uh, get the... Uh, I guess it's... Ah, okay, there we go. Kind of dark in here, but... I'll try to wander around. But uh, there's a nice little breakfast nook in there for the kitchen. And a uh, nice, relatively large size television here. It's 4x3 and not HD, but... You know, it'll 
definitely do in a pinch once we get some of our classic gaming systems in here. Yeah, it should work pretty nice. And then we have the uh, garage. Um, my car is parked in here. So if I open this up. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, we have ADT, so we've got a full on alarm system. And there's my uh, uh, Honda and a Mercedes behind it, which is the owner of the places. And yeah, there is a uh, um, intercom in here too. <coughs> so yeah, we have uh, full on ADT. So it's uh, and a little bathroom. Um, let me see if I can get some more down on here. There we go. And uh, this will lead you actually outside, uh, but this is another uh, uh, shower in here uh, and some kind of a, uh, a bench. Uh, it would be nice if this was a sauna or something, but unfortunately it is not. But, uh, yeah. So, um, that pretty much is this wing of the house. Uh, let's go upstairs using the secondary stairwell. <coughs> So we have windows in our stairwell, and it is pretty nice. And here we are on the second floor. And here's a little uh, chill area that uh, leads out to the balcony. And uh, you know, here's another intercom unit. And uh, let's see, this door goes outside to a little kind of smoking patio sort of a thing, which is kind of cool. Um, this is the master bedroom. It has a fireplace. It has a relatively large television. Nate will be staying in here. And, uh, you know, it has nice cabinetry. The uh, bathroom is... Uh... Oh, sorry about that. Looks like I got an email. But uh, that's his sink and uh, fireplace, and he's got a lit and a bidet. And a really, really, really beautiful tub. I mean, this thing is, yeah, he has so many chicks in here. I mean, and this thing, I mean, you could probably fit two to three people in here. Maybe three. But, you know, it's a very nice tub. It has a very awesome shower, too, and some more cabinetry and stuff. And then uh, the uh, master walk-in closet is freaking huge. Um, so we'll go inside here and uh, you know, wander around a little bit. So this goes to a water closet. Um, there's a uh, hot water heater in here and uh, off in here is another closet closet for clothing and uh, back out to the main closet but uh, yeah I mean it's a very very nice master bedroom which Nate gets because he is the leader and he's got a uh, yeah And, uh, yeah, there's the stairwell down to the kitchen, and uh, we're back in here again. And the, the balcony also has a sound system up there. Um, here we have a uh, nursery. <coughs> Sorry for the wallpaper, but, you know, it's, it's what you get with a place like this. The, uh, huh. yeah, it's kind of interesting looking. But uh, this guy's got its own bathroom as well. So it's got a... Uh, a sink, a toilet, it's got a relatively nice uh, whirlpool tub, which is also pretty decent, and a closet. And uh, there is the downstairs area from up here, and here is our actual living room. So I'll give you a down from up here. And yeah, our uh, matrix stairwell and fountain with the, uh, the glass front of the uh, place, which looks really awesome. And down this way, we'll find my room. So there's another bedroom here. It's uh, unfurnished at the moment. 
but uh, this one is kind of a nice little, uh, you know, it's got a, a, a dome in here and uh, its own little closet and uh, I mean most of these rooms have a bathroom. It just kind of depends on what you have in each bathroom. Like so this one is just a shower. <coughs> And then finally, um, we come to my room uh, upstairs. And then I've got my own little area to go out on the patio here. And uh, here's my room. So, and I've got my own bathroom too. And mine's fairly nice. Um, this is my sink, this is my toilet. And uh, I've got a uh, whirlpool tub myself. So you can see the whirlpool nozzles there. And my own uh, little closet inside the bathroom. As well as... Oh, uh, I guess the room itself doesn't have a closet. Well, that's fine too. <clears throat> and then uh, Rob's room is uh, downstairs. So let's uh, go down the uh, main stairwell, shall we? I know this is getting to be about 20 minutes, but... Uh, this is a big place. So go down the main stairwell and uh, from the main doorway this is what you see this massive massive staircase and uh, yeah we have a chandelier up there too so you know here's our uh, entry fountain it's empty at the moment but it will eventually be filled and uh, we've got a little sitting area here and a little sitting area over there on the other side of the uh, foyer and down here is, um, see Rob has his uh, own little access and exit here, and uh, he's got his own uh, little mini room here, and uh, looks like he's left his beer on the... <sighs> okay, well that doesn't look like it's actually causing any problems, but you know, he's got a, uh, an intercom and uh, his own bathroom. This one has uh, two sinks and a uh, shower. Um, Rob said that he did not need a, uh, a tub, so I will be taking the room upstairs that does have that. But yeah, I mean.